the other concepts that you're going to have to be familiar with in terms of money supply, money markets, you know, how this actually increases the amount of spending in the economy is the money creation process. Now, when we say that banks create money, it doesn't mean that, you know, your local Wachovia branch or whoever has a little printing press in the back room that spits out sheets of 20s every day, and then, you know, they cut them and they, they give them to their customers. That's not what banks do, okay? That's not the money creation that we're talking about. That's what counterfeiters do. And that's illegal because it screws up the Fed's ability to control the money supply. Anyway, the money creation process. Banks create money by making loans. And that is a key point here. This is going to tie into several of the other concepts that are very important for this unit. And these are things that will be hit on the AP exam. You'll see it in multiple choice questions. You're going to have to be able to explain it. They create money, money by making loans. Now, we already said that one of the Fed's tools for monetary policy was being able to adjust and control the reserve requirement. Reserve requirement meaning the percentage of the bank's total deposits that they have to keep in reserves, either in vault cash or on deposit in Fed branch. Now, let's say, for example, that reserve requirement is 20%. That's, that's a very typical number that you tend to see in multiple choice questions. If the reserve requirement is 20% and the bank makes a loan of, say, 500 bucks, loan amount of $500, then how much money total is going to be created in the banking system by that $500 loan? question that you're going to need to be able to answer. To do this, you have to know the formula for the money multiplier. The money multiplier is 1 over required reserves, or the reserve ratio is probably what most books will use for the RR, 1 over the reserve ratio. In this case, 20%, 1 over 0.2 oops, equals 5 times the amount of the loan, which was 500 bucks. So what's the total amount of money created in the system by a $500 loan? If you have 20% required reserves, 5 times 500, $2,500. Now, how do we get from a $500 loan to a $2,500 increase? It's through the process of multiple deposit expansion. How does that work? I'm just going to use these same numbers again. Reserve ratio of 20%, money multiplier of 5, loan of 5. Now, this is potentially what will happen in the banking system. We'll talk about how it may not actually play out in just a minute. So, Bob gets 500 bucks and puts it in the bank. Okay. Or spends now, it with other people who put it in the bank. Either way. Work with me here. Oh, yeah. Wait, through multiple deposit expansion, it has to be deposited. If the money is actually all being spent, then it's a spending multiplier, which is a different process. Oh, it's I see. question, but it's a different process. So, Bob's bank has 500 bucks. Now, that bank makes a loan to Joe, our other average consumer. Now, what can that bank loan out if the reserve requirement is 20%? $400 is what they have left over. And he puts 
sat in his bank. Now that bank can potentially loan out $320. So now that bank makes a loan to Susie of $320 and she puts that in her bank. And if we kept going through this process until there's nothing left over and we add up all those potential loans, that's where we get the $2,500 from. Now, does that mean that with a loan of $500 that it's guaranteed to create $2,500? No, it doesn't. Because in each of these cases, we're making the assumption that for all the banks in this process, there are no excess reserves. If the banks hold excess reserves, meaning that they're keeping more than that 20%, it will reduce your total. So, the potential total increase is the initial loan times the multiplier. Now, if you have a question that says, um, how much additional money is created from that loan? Additional meaning above the $500, you would say $2,000. If it says, how much money in total is created, you would keep that loan amount in there and it would be $2,500. Depends on the wording of the question and you've got to be careful with that. But in any case, if any of the banks in this process hold excess reserves, it's going to reduce your total. And that's something that you need to know in terms of, you know, catching a tricky question. But this process of money being redeposited, redeposited, redeposited is multiple deposit expansion. And that's another term that ties into money markets.